Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we'll discuss about how to deploy Angular application in AWS S3 bucket. Okay. Without further delay, let's get started. So here is my application. I will run this application in local ones. NPM start. Okay. So now by default it will uh, run under 4200 okay if you want you can check 4200 so here is hello login this is my application it is running under localhost 4200 now we'll deploy this application in aws s3 bucket so for that one first we need to build this project using ng build okay so once this build is completed it will generate one dist folder in the our project see list folder is not available so you can just refresh this if you see this is the list folder okay these are all the files generated when you are uh, build ng build now we'll deploy these files in s3 bucket so for that one first we need to log in your s3 account then we need to search for s3 so this is my s3 service known first we need to create one bucket already one bucket is there my login app but i will create new bucket here so here my bucket name is first login app this is my bucket name so here we need to choose acls enabled okay so apart from that we need to uncheck this block all public access okay so here we need to do the acknowledgement using this checkbox okay so that's it just we need to click on the create bucket now bucket will created in s3 see our bucket is created bucket name is first login application so inside this bucket now we'll deploy our angular application for that one we need to click on this upload because i don't have any images now this is a simple application now we can click on the add files now these are all the files we need to select and upload into this s3 bucket now we need to check this checkbox and we need to provide some permissions here if we expand these permissions here we need to give grant public read access for this application now we need to click on this upload okay so now all my angular files is uploaded into s3 bucket okay so there is one more change we need to do in the properties file we need to enable this static website if you scroll down there is an option in the last see static website hosting by default it is disabled so we need to click on edit and select the enabled okay so here we need to specify the home page of our application so home page is index.html if you have any error means if the application is getting any error then this error.html file will be displayed on the screen so right now i don't have any error.html i have only index.html now click on the save changes see everything is done now we are added this static website you can just scroll now now it will generated one url see this is url of our angular application you can click on this url see now we are able to access our application this is my hello login if we see this is the url from aws s3 bucket okay so like this we need to deploy angular application to aws s3 I hope this video is helpful for you. Please like, share and subscribe my channel for more content.